everyone, Gil here at Camp Patton Family Compound. Ah, moved over into the shade so I can uh, actually see whether or not I'm looking in the camera right, whether the cameras catch me. Okay, yeah, so we've been having a, uh, one of the uh, crop dusters here um, buzzing the area here, doing several of the things here. And hopefully they're not dropping um, a chemical that will damage my strawberries and stuff over here. All right, so uh, my last video I was talking about uh, doing a retaining wall over here out of the IBC totes. Well, let's take a look and see how we're doing right now. So, I've uh, did a bunch with the um, heavy duty weed blocker. This stuff here is the, oh, there he goes again, is that uh, six foot wide roll. I trimmed off uh, two feet off of it. So this is four feet tall here. Got, got the bottom uh, staple, uh, nailed to the ground there, good and heavy. And here he comes again, making noise. Let's see if I can see him there. All right, and I start, and so, and then here is the that little piece there, short, shorter piece. That's the six foot stuff I had laid out, and I just folded it up. And you can see, oh, it looks like my water's full down there. Hang on a second here. Filling up something, I'll talk about that there. So it looks like it just filled up there. And get over here quick to the valve. Uh, there we go. All right, so where was I? Okay, so um, I folded the six foot up on the other side. And you can see here, I got most of these pretty well filled up here now. I swapped out the one that was here on the end. I put a tall one here. And that the reason is when I go to build steps around the side here and stuff, um, I don't want it, you know, um, a short one there that a person can get hurt on. So I got the top one here. So it's great kids they are going to come down. They're going to grab hold of that bar. Alrighty. So getting these uh, pretty much filled up here. Got to put some more uh, to, um, compost on the top here and turn it a little bit. Got these here. Now here, I took one of the ones out, moved it down. I'm going to be putting steps in here that line up with the uh, kitchen door. And because, you know, with grandkids, you know, they're going to want to come out here and come through the garden and play under the trees here. So, and so right here, when I get this all finished, uh, level done, I'm going to take the, uh, the jet hose out here and uh, jet this all down, get it to settle down in and somewhat compact it. I don't want to compact it too much, but I want the bottom to settle down where it's not going to drop on me more later on. And then... Once I get it down, I'll probably take this top board here off and then lay this here out over onto it. And then I have a uh, the two foot piece I cut off. When I did that, then I'm gonna lay it across here to give it more um, a walking area along this side here. All right, uh, this one here. Uh, we're kind of feeling I got to put some more uh, compost in there. The reason I have a smaller one on that, um, I'm going to try doing some blackberries out here. And I don't want a big opening, so it'll start going. Around. I want to kind of contain the blackberries and where I can control them a little bit. So these are going on okay. Just putting some soil in here, so I got to do that. This one I just put down this morning. Uh, so I got to put the. Um, the milk cartons in there and the filter fabric and then start filling that one up. This one here is uh, one of the ones I had, in, uh, one of the older ones I had and I brought it over and gonna add some more stuff to it. And now this thing here is full of water. And the reason I filled this full of water right now is um, this will be a water one down here for watering the uh, um, the garden, but I'm going to be storing rainwater in this one, and I got one more to store rainwater in. And so when I'm doing rainwater, 
I want to make sure uh, I have it down here where I can uh, for watering uh, stuff like the blueberries, the boysenberries, stuff that take that doesn't like the hard alkaline water that we have around here. So this will help uh, by collecting rainwater. It'll give me water to uh, help keep uh, those plants healthy. All righty, and so I'm going to finish uh, pushing all this down in here. Um, now that I, now this thing here is nice and solid and not going anywhere, I can go ahead and just put the uh, run the dirt right up against here, and that'll be good. And of course, I'll, I'm going to taper it down from here up because I may continue this on out here farther, depending what the wife wants, if she wants me to bring that on out here farther. And if I do need to move that one, it'll be easy. I can just drain it, pick it up, and move it. So here's what's going, you know, it's uh, getting a little bit, looking a little bit better as I'm going up here and cleaning it up. So I'll finish pushing dirt in here um, today. It's already after 10 o'clock and man, I, t I swear it's already 90 degrees out here. So this is what it looks like up here from the upper side. So now I just need to finish filling up in here and work on my way over towards the corner there. Got to get out the railroad ties for using for the steps over there. And so yeah, I'm going to be busy today when I can. Over there, I did a bunch more cut, cut, cutting down. Um, see laying down the big old um, the fork there. I cut two pieces off. I actually uh, threw some of those uh, big tie straps up around the branches. I had the tractor and pulled them. as bent the, the limb this way. Cut it a little bit. It started cracking and I pulled harder and finally dropped over here without damaging the fence. So that was good. So now I just got to cut those up and uh, some of these will be firewood, other stuff's going to go in some of these for uh, compost. I'm going to make a compost pile for the, the other branches and stuff. So, got a bit more work to do. I still got uh, several ones. Now, this one here up here is uh, kind of dying and stuff. So, I'm taking that whole branch there off just because. So, that'll be uh, off. Maybe today I'll get up there and cut that. Most likely tomorrow. But, yeah. Anyways, that's what's uh, that's the latest update out, out here for the uh, retaining wall uh, or raised planter bed retaining wall part two. Actually, this should have been part three. I did another one, but the um, the microphone didn't work at all. Uh, it had a dead battery. It, the battery was um, I turned it on. It got a green light. Okay, it's good battery. About a minute later, it died because by the time I actually got everything set up and started filming. It was dead, so it didn't record anything. So, anyways, so before I take off, I'm gonna put a link up here to my other channel, uh, Gray Man Prepping, and I'll put a couple playlists over here on this side here uh, for things you should be interested in. All right, take care, plant a garden, and I will see you around.